Hey guys, it's Mo, and today I want to share with you a little 101 tutorial video all about using Canva. So Canva is one of the design resources that I totally think that you should pay for as a blogger. It makes things super easy to create social sharing images, blog headers, blog images, Pinterest images, infographics, Facebook posts. It makes things 100% easier because there's a bunch of templates that you can use to customize. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little rundown about how to use Canva, why I think you should pay for it, and then we're going to design a blog graphic and I'm going to show you how freaking easy it is to use. So when you log into Canva, this is what you're going to see right here. This is kind of like your dashboard. You're going to have all your designs. You can scroll down and see all of your designs. And you're also going to have this like quick create uh, toolbar up here. If you click on any of these, you're going to get um, that size in a blank canvas so that you can start to build and create your um, design that you want to. It's not going to open a template. It's just going to say, oh, you know what? I really need to create an Instagram post. So I'm just going to click on this here, get a blank canvas, boom bop, beep, boop, and it's done. Um, then you'll also have this little sidebar here that has some information for you, some organization, um, where your brand and templates are and things like that. So I pay for the premium subscription to Canva and I definitely think that you should. And I'm going to give you the three reasons why I do it. So the number one reason is because I can upload um, branded things. If you have the free version, you're only going to be able to add your um, color palettes for your brand colors. You're not going to be able to add a um, like style guide for your fonts. You're not going to be able to upload fonts and you're not going to be able to upload your logos. Um, you're only going to be able to have your brand colors right here. So, and you can add multiple palettes. I'm not sure if in the free, mer free version you can add multiple palettes, um, but here in my paid version, I can. So I think that is the number one reason because you want to be consistent across all of your designs. The second reason is because you get more than two folders. Under um, this section here, if you have the free version, you only get two folders. You can see I have like six here and I try to be organized. It's not always the easiest thing to be organized like this, but if ever I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do my self-care class or I'm gonna do my cleaning class, I wanna make sure that I have all the social media graphics, I wanna make sure I'm linking everything properly, I have everything designed, you know, I'm scheduling my posts to go up, and I can go there, find all of the graphics that I need rather than just scrolling down and seeing where they all are, I can organize them into folders. Same with blog graphics if I ever want to copy or make a template or something like that. Going off of that, the third reason is because you can magically or automatically resize um, your designs to be another size without losing your information and um, without losing the kind of style and overall look of the um, design. So for example, this I designed to be just a vertical graphic and I wanted to be able to post it to um, Instagram if I needed to. So I was able to magically or automatically, I don't remember what they call it, resize it to be this um, square size for an Instagram post. It kept all of my text, it kept all of my images, it kind of kept the same layout. I did have to adjust some things because this is not all going to fit on this because, or and look nice, I feel like, um, because of the restricted dimensions. But if you were to use the free version, you wouldn't be able to do that. You would have to copy all this information onto another canvas, replicate it again, instead of just easily um, copying and resizing. So those are the reasons why I think you should pay for this, especially if you're using this um, for your blog or your small business or your Facebook page or something like that. It's going to save you a lot of time. And for me, my time is very valuable. So I would much rather pay for something that saves me time <laughs> than and allow me to work on something else than have me be frustrated and just wasting my time creating the graphics, you know, three times over. So I'm going to go over here and we're going to, um, I'm going to show you the templates here. I don't think I'm going to work from one of these today, but I am going to do a video on how I customize these templates to fit my brand. So if you want to do, um, I don't know, an announcement, book cover, bar bookmarks, um, brochures, the thing that I do a lot is infographics and blog. I think it's called like blog something. I don't remember blog graphics, but I will do an infographic a lot of times and I'll resize it to not be as long. Um, so it fits better on a like Facebook post or on my blog or something like that. 
And I'm gonna do a video and show you how I customize these guys um, to be matching my brand. So we're gonna go back to all your designs. I'm gonna show you some little basics here um, about creating something in Canva. So we're gonna click on blog graphic. I'm just gonna show you how to make something really simply for your blog here. What we can do is we can add in an element here. I'm gonna go to shapes. This is not, I make my blog graphics actually on my phone, um, which I think I have a blog post on, yeah, how to create Pinterest graphics using your phone, which is what I do. So I'm gonna put this little footer down here and I'm gonna go to text and you can see I have my branded text here. I'm gonna add a little bit of body text and I'm going to type in my website We can go up here and make it uppercase. We can change the font to be a little bit smaller. Maybe I wanna make this white. I'm gonna make the spacing a little bit bigger and I'm gonna bring this down here. And you can see these little guides come up um, and that works really great to make sure everything is aligned in the center. Um, then we can go to elements and maybe I wanna put in a free photo. You can also add frames. Sometimes I don't really do that. I don't really add frames. I just kind of resize this picture. So we can do like this. Let's see if we can find another photography picture. And I wanna make sure photos is selected here. And maybe I'll use this one as well. So we're just kind of, I'm just doing this like super quickly. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to go to arrange. I'm going to send it to back. Whoops. Arrange, back, back. Okay. Let's go to elements. I want to go to um, another shape. Let's add something like this. We'll make this this gray color. I'm going to do some transparency work here. We're going to make this a little bit smaller and play around here. Actually, you know what? I don't like how even this looks, so I'm going to do this a little bit and we can see we can line this up in the dead center if you wanted to and we can go back to text add a heading type in if I can spell type in our um, or part of our maybe blog post title change it to be a one of our branded fonts. Line this up in the middle. I think I want to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Yep. Add a subheading. Let's see here. Ten awesome tips to make this a little bit bigger. We can play with spacing again here. I'm going to change this to that. I'm going to click on my photography again. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to move this guy up. Boost. Whoops. I'm going to change the size here. Mm, actually, let's do this. Boost your a lot of this is just playing around, honestly. Ten awesome tips. So we're gonna go back and I'm gonna send this to the back so I can click on this one. Copy.
product photography. So now we have a quickly made little blog graphic or whatnot. You can play with the font. You can do whatever you want. We can even go here and add filters um, if it's something that, I don't know, you might like. There's that one edge, Cali. You know, we can go over here, filter. I don't know. Sometimes that changes a little bit of something that you want to do. If you don't like it, we just go to undo, undo. Another thing that I like to do is to add something um, like a shape over to change the opacity. So I'm going to send this forward. We're going to change this maybe to this color, change the opacity here like this. Um, we could send it all the way back. I'm just going to meet it down there. So then now we have this really cool and really easy um, blog graphic and we can just change it. Maybe we can say this is like template blog graphic or something like that. And then um, once we go back to our dashboard, you can just click on Canva, go back to your dashboard. The template, it's generating the template preview right here, but if we want to make a copy and make another brand new one, we can. So let's make a copy here. Sometimes it brings it over crazy places, I don't know. Um, so now we've got a new copy of this, so maybe we want to change this to be, um, we're going to change the photos and we're going to do a different kind of blog post, but we still want to use the same template. Maybe we want to make it to fit an Instagram post. So we want to put this on our Instagram feed, or maybe we want to put it on our um, stories. I don't think that there is a stories thing like specifically yet. However, you can click on file and change the dimensions or magic resize and change it to be the dimensions for an Instagram story. So we're going to change this to be an Instagram post. So we're going to go, we're going to make sure we've have Instagram posts checked. Abracadabra resize. It's going to open up a new um, copy for us of the Instagram post. So since we didn't do this quite properly, it's not saved everything um, exactly the way we wanted. If we had done a template, then it would have been easier and better. But we can just resize this stuff here. Very quickly, you can see. And, oops. You have your Instagram post easily save it you're done you don't have to you know and then we can put here you know photography photography i can't spell instagram post done and now you have that um so the magic resize the branded fonts the branded colors your branded logo we can even go here and i think it's under yeah logos is under uploads we can add our logo to this like especially if you were going to put this on Instagram maybe make sure it's in the center maybe we can change the transparency on it and then you have you know a really cool branded guy there um, so it's really great to be able to use the branding options that you have you can also create folders um, with your uploads, new folder. These are all, I've got a whole bunch of stuff uploaded here. Not in folders because like I said, it's hard for me to be organized, but you can create new folders. Um, that way you know exactly where to find your images. Um, it's really, it's really, really helpful. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. You can also check out more Boost Your Blog posts on my blog. It's 516thsblog.com and follow me on Instagram. It's at 516ths and give a like to the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash 516 So I will talk to you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.